Hello and welcome to another Limitless Hair Expert video tutorial. My name is Dino, where we combine expert advice about hair with self-improvement. Today's subject is what you should know about your hair shaft. Now the hair shaft first, just so you know, is the hair from the part of the scalp to the end. That's the hair shaft. I want to approach this differently. I want to give you different information, information that you can't find anywhere else or on the internet. I want to approach this very differently that you'll find very interesting and very educational. Now, to tie this in, I want to talk about the health of the body and the mind because the health, the nutrition, and the health of your body connects to your hair. And I want to use an example here about that. When you go to a nutritionalist, the nutritionalist will take a sample of your hair to determine the nutrition or lack of in reference to your body. And the reason why is because the hair is the last spot that receives the nutrition. So it's logical to go to the hair, the last spot, to find out where the nutrition is ending up at. Okay, so it's important. So hair plays an important factor. Now I want to talk about the pH balance. I want to talk about the health of your body and then I want to connect it to the health of your hair and your hair shaft. All right. So in reference to the health of your body, there's something called pH balance. Your body needs to maintain a pH balance of 7.2, somewhere around the 7 point area. If your body doesn't maintain that, your body will burn up and you'll die. And we don't want that to happen. So what your body does, it maintains a pH balance. Here's how it does, here's how it works. Your body takes and absorbs and stores alkaline. Alkaline balances, it lowers acidicity. So you have to think, there's acid in your body and there's alkaline. We have a high acid diet normally speaking, okay? So what happens is that you eat acid, foods that are acidy, and your body has stored alkaline, and what it does, it balances it out. So what your body does, it's spitting out alkaline when it needs it to keep your body at a balance. Now where do you get alkaline from? Basically to simplify, greens. Everything green gives you alkaline, okay? And what happens is your body stores the alkaline and then spits it out and uses it to keep your body balanced. Now, if you don't have enough of alkaline in your body, what happens is it takes it from your fats, from your fat actually, then from your organs, then from your bones. So it's sort of okay to take it from your fat, but when it starts taking it from your organs, it starts depleting the organs. When it takes it from your bones, it starts condensing the bones. And that's what causes us human beings to shrink as we get older. So I don't know if everyone knows, but as you get older, you tend to shrink. Somewhere around 40 years old or older, you tend to shrink. And the reason for that is because of alkaline, because the body's taking alkaline from fat, then organs, then bones, and it's condensing the bones and causing you to shrink, all right? So it's not good when the body takes alkaline from the organs and the bones, but it will do that to keep you surviving, okay? So now, how does that relate to hair? It relates to hair because the hair, the hair shaft, which is all your hair, needs also to be a balance of about seven, uh, 7.6, somewhere around that area, 7.2, 7.6. It needs a pH balance of around that seven point area, okay? 7.2, 7.6 area to keep healthy. So now when you use conditioners or anything you put on your hair, the lower the pH, the better. So a conditioner that has a four pH balance, a five, a three, a two, will lower your pH balance and keep the hair more healthy, all right? Now conversely, anything you put on your hair that has a higher pH, eight, nine, 10, 11, that cleans the hair, but it also wears down on the hair. So when you bleach up your hair, it brings the pH balance to about a nine. If you use relaxers, 
That's the worst. Even though you can use them, you have to know how. It brings the pH balance up to about 11. And then you use a neutralizing shampoo, all right, or some sort of neutralizer. The neutralizer has a low pH that then lowers that pH down. So as an example, if you were to use a relaxer and your pH went up to a 10 or 11, and then you put a neutralizing shampoo in, then that'll lower it back to a 7, okay? So it's important your intake of alkaline, because alkaline lowers the pH. So anything you use in your body that's alkaline, green, is good for your pH, lowering your pH in your body. And anything you use on your hair, if you use anything green, actually, on your hair, it's actually good because it lowers the pH. Or look for pH on any label of any shampoo or conditioner. A lot of times they don't give it to you, but when they do, they're usually proud of it because it's usually a lower pH. And what that does, it closes the cuticle of the hair. And just so everybody understands something here, right here, this is the hair, and the outer portion of the hair here is the cuticle layer. Then there's the cortex, and then there's something called the medulla. That's what the hair is constructed of, the hair shaft itself. And when you put low pH, something with low pH, it closes the cuticle, seals it, makes it smoother and easier to deal with, okay? So please keep that in mind. There's always a connection between health of your body and health of your hair, all right? So now our quote for today is, the fragrance of the rose lingers on the hand that cast it. That's by William Shakespeare. And that has great meaning. And the reason why I bring up these quotes is because I bring up the definition behind them because they have great significance. And what does that mean, all right? It means whatever you cast out has an effect on yourself more than it does what you're casting out to. So as an example, when it says, the fragrance of the rose lingers on the hand that, that has cast it, okay? What that means is that when you cast out a compliment, all right, it helps the person you're casting it out to, but also helps yourself. Conversely, if you're casting out an insult, or you're even thinking of negative things, it hurts you, the person who's casting it, more than the, who you're delivering it to. So please keep that in mind. Now for our next Limitless Hair Expert video, it'll be how do you determine price versus value when adding hair? And you're gonna find this subject very interesting because I want people to follow a specific principles to follow in reference to if they're shopping for some sort of way of adding hair. And you're trying to determine, uh, is this valuable enough? Is this worth the price? So it's an interesting subject. So I'll see you soon on that. Thank you.